Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, I'm Bhavin and I have a Jura S8 coffee machine. I've had it for about a year and I'm just going to talk about a few things and problems that I had and how to fix them as far as the Jura machine is concerned. And they're all integrated together. So number one, this is the Jura S8 machine. Gives and delivers great coffee and a great frother with it. So as once you have this machine, it's nice to make a good cup of coffee, but there is something else which you need to know, and that is cleaning and maintenance. And there are four different things or five different things that you need to do for maintenance. Number one, I have a Jura refrigerator. Well, I call it a refrigerator. It's a cooling system where you can put in uh, your milk and whatever else that you want to do, milk and cream or whatever else you want to do and you basically just hook it up over here it comes into a like big size which i have and it comes as a smaller one too if you don't drink coffee that much and you don't use that much milk and the third thing is you don't even need this you can just hook it up to another machine uh, like uh, one of the other containers that comes with it and you can use that for cleaning purposes and making the milk froth there are two different parts of it if you just want deliver coffee you can get it from here it comes with two nozzles so you can have two different separate cups of coffee brewed at the same time and it comes with a fr uh, milk frother system and if you are making any specialty coffee like cappuccino latte uh, or flat white the coffee will come from here otherwise it will be coming from here now once you make your coffee and it's wonderful and you drink it you have to go through the maintenance and i'm going to show you the different steps of maintenance which you want to do regularly First, when you go in there, and it gives you the proper alerts uh, as it goes along, but there are certain things which you need to be aware of. So cleaning the milk system is one. And I'll go back over here. So when you go over here, there is a clean milk system. This one is effective, long-lasting protection, and it will walk you through it when you do it. But that's the situation wherein you need to have the tablets, which are like this. And at the proper time, you will have to insert it over here. Now, it usually warns you when you want to do it, but I recommend doing it once a week. Uh, the reason being, and I'm not even sure if that's company instructions, but I do it once a week. If you look at coffee, coffee tends to be, be very greasy and oily. And that oil will stick onto the gear system on the inside. And you don't want the gear, coffee and the gear system to get oily and sticky. So using this will clean the part of the coffee system and clean it out so that the gear system continues to work properly. The other part of the system is the milk cleaning system. And I can show it to you. This is the lime scale fault, I will tell you. This is the effective... Uh, yet gentle and that cleans the milk system from here all the way here now when you're cleaning the milk system what you do is you take put in coffee uh, milk uh, water over here and then what I have done is that although there is a Jura uh, liquid solution that you can get and it is in a container like this what I have done is I've transferred it into a, like a um, uh, a squirt bottle like this and I use 10 squirts because I'm too lazy to open the cap putting it in a cap and measuring it out so I just use 10 squirts of this and it's a lot faster and easier to do and you just follow the instructions you will hook this up over here and follow the instructions and that's uh, the step in a nutshell however however the problem is that number one it does not clean this part out so this is the part which I usually uh, take out every couple of days and clean it manually. I have a special brush uh, for it. And I use a special brush just to clean it out so that way I can scrub it through. Every so often I will take this and scrub it from here also. Just so that I have more effective cleaning. The other part of this cleaning solution is that... Uh, let me show you is this part comes out and I will press you have to press on these two things and now you can pull this out and once you take this out what I do is this, and I do this once every couple of weeks or every uh, other week or so and this part comes out I take this part out and I run the wire through this part over here and then run the wire over here just to scrub it out that's one thing. 
The second thing which I do is that I also open this up. So this comes with a plastic uh, uh, tip and this part. I open this up and I scrub it gently, very gently from here, and I clean this part out too. It might be easier to soak this in water for a little while, so for about 10, 15 minutes or half an hour. So it gives you a little bit better effective cleansing. So these are the steps which are not described by the Jura. At least I have not read, seen it anywhere else, but I tend to do it. Okay, and now it's back in. This nozzle will give you the deliver the amount of froth. The If it is uh, upright, it is more frothy like this. And sometimes I just leave it at a slight froth area and you get less froth. So that's the part of cleaning the milk system. The other part, uh, so we've talked about two different parts and this is the lime scale uh, fault. Now the lime scale fault uh, basically uh, gets rid of these uh, calcium deposits which we uh, come in when you, if you don't have a filter or cartridge like this. And uh, let me see if I can find the filter or cartridge. So this is what the filter or cartridge, um, uh, the top part looks like. And somewhere over here, yeah, there we go. And this is what the cartridge looks like. I chose not to use the cartridge. Uh, I just wanted to use a manual cleaning and you can just follow the cleansing steps for that. Now, in every step of the cleaning, you will find one thing, especially with the long lasting cleaning and also with the lime scale cleaning is that you have to take out or empty the grounds container. And this is what you have to do. Emptying the grounds, grounds container you take this out and uh, you just empty it out. Once a week, I clean out the whole container a little bit more manually. And this is the part you have to be careful. There is water in here. Now this water, I always clean it from an angle like this. And I will tell you why. The reason is that this is the sensor over here. I'm going to lift it up. And this particular sensor, when it has got water in it, it sends a signal. So it has got two purposes. This thing has got two purposes. Number one, when it gets filled up with water, this part will go ahead and send a signal on the inside over here. And there is a, uh, another aluminum piece, I would suspect, on the inside. And when it connects to it, it'll say, oh, there is water in here, empty the grounds container. That's step one. The second part is that when this connects with the inside, it lets you know if it has been fitted properly or it is missing. So those are the two errors you will get and it is all related to this part of the system. Now, uh, every so often what was happening to me was that I kept on getting an error saying that grounds can, uh, this thing not placed or, uh, or it is missing. So what I did was I got one of the, I, you can get any cheap uh, uh, um, uh, blowing machine, uh, equipment which you can get and you can use uh, the one which you use for cleaning the keyboard. And what I do is that when you get that error, I use this and I clean this part out. So once you clean this out with the blower, guess what, there is no more air and the error that you are getting saying empty grounds container will no longer be there. And that is a critical step with cleaning. Uh, so basically this is uh, the cleaning steps and where I had problems with this. So one of the things that happens is with the Jura machine is when it turns on and it senses that this is missing for some reason, you will get an error. Or if it gets an error, uh, if there is water in here, you'll get a error and the machine turns off. It's a white, uh, uh, like the windows of blue, a screen of blue. This is a, like a screen of a white error. It says call Jura for support. And all I did was clean this part out. Okay, now the last step in the cleaning is uh, this part and I am going to go ahead and demonstrate to you is uh, what you do is one second. Uh, you basically you take a cleaning uh, like a, you take one of the uh, and I've already I just used this but I'm going to show it to you again. You put your hand in and underneath it there is a little flap. Now underneath the flap, you go behind the flap and you will find that there is an area from which the coffee drips. And very gently you want to use the cloth and clean it out once a week. And that gets rid of the error which says system filling. 
So whenever you get a system filling error, that is what you want to do is clean that part out very gently with your hands. So what does that part look like? And over here, this is what it looks like. This is the flap. And this is the area from which the coffee comes out. So you want to clean this area very gently with your, uh, uh, with a paper towel, very, very gently. And that is what you are supposed to do. Now, one other error which I was having, and my brother-in-law is going to demonstrate, is that once in a while, this machine does not go in. So my brother-in-law is now going to go ahead and demonstrate how to put uh, fit it in retrospect, uh, retroactively. So... So he basically he went in, put this underneath it, and then he slid it in. And uh, I guess, uh, yeah. So when you do that, it will get rid of the flap which has been uh, blocking the way. And that's another way of doing it. Uh, so that's a part one. We will conclude a part one. This is my brother-in-law and uh, he is the technical genius and uh, he, he helped uh, me figure out a lot of different things.